Are you tired of planning your trades, watching them happen in real time, and then failing to execute missing them over and over again? What's going on team? It's your boy JDN Trades with Team Bull Trading, and I hope we all had a great week in the stock market. So today I'm going to show you how to set up hotkeys on TD Ameritrade Thinkorswim. I'm going to tell you about the benefits of hotkeys here or whatever platform you're on. And then I'm going to show you a real life example of how these made me $5,600 in about two minutes today. And how you could have had that too if you've been trading live with us on our premium discord. And if you had executed quick enough. Now before we get started, I hope you get a lot of value from this video. And all I ask is that you consider hitting that like and subscribe button in the bottom right corner. And leave a comment and let me know what you want to see next and what I can do better to help you in your trading. So first things first, we have our TD Ameritrade Thinkorswim app open and we're sitting on the charts tab. Now we wanna go and use our cursor right here, go to the top right corner and press setup. Click this and then we click application settings. So see here, we have this screen comes up. So general notifications, order defaults, hotkeys, my profile. In this lesson, we're gonna be going over hotkeys. So you wanna click here and you're gonna get this screen. Now what we wanna do is we wanna go down to active trader. Make sure this is enabled. And now a little background on what hotkeys, hotkeys are gonna do is instead of taking a normal trade, you know, typically you have to go, you have to click buy, you have to confirm your order, and you know this thing takes 5, 10, 15 seconds. In stock market time, 5 seconds can turn to 5 hours, which turns to, you know, blown accounts. So that's not what we want to do. So what this is going to allow you to do is instead of having to click your mouse, you know, drag it around, do all that stuff, you're going to be able to click, you know, shift A or shift S, you're going to be able to click in and click out of positions within a second. This will help your trading so much. I, I can't stress this enough. If you're full-time day trading, or even if you're part-time day trading, and you know, you're, you're in and out of positions, you have to have, you have to have your hotkey set up. So we're gonna go to this hotkey tab, this active trader tab, and we have all these options. Now for our sake and keep this video short and sweet and valuable, we're gonna look at this buy market, buy ask, buy bid, or yeah, sell market, sell ask, sell bid. So when I trade, now you have to use your own preferences, you have to look at your own position size, I like to buy the ask and sell the bid. And again, I'll go over in another YouTube video what the ask and bid actually means. So again, if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date on all future lessons and such. But uh, I like to go buy ask and buy the bid. So how you're gonna do that, how you're gonna set it up and how I set it up is I have my buy ask here set to shift day. So you're gonna click buy, buy ask here, go over and make sure, I think these come click default. It'll look like this or something like this. So you wanna unclick these click shift and then changes to A. Now why I like shift A as your buy ask or buy market, whatever you choose, is that your fingers are resting on the keyboard like this. So you can click in, boom, boom. Your left hand clicks, your right hand's on the mouse, right? Nice, easy, efficient. For me, it works very well. Now, at the same time, I like to go and I make my sell. I think it's set to sell market on this is my shift S on my light speed, which is what I trade on. I have it set to, um, I have my sell bid to shift S. Um, but you're gonna go here, you're gonna wanna go here, sell market, sell bid, whatever you choose, and go shift S. Now why I like the setup, I mean, you might have your own, you might like shift A and shift you know, R, but how, why I like it like this, because my shift A is right here, and then right next to it is my shift S, so I can go in, out, in, out. I don't have to worry about hitting the wrong keys, You know, I know which is which, I can look down and see them right next to each other, and it makes it much easier for me to navigate and get out of positions. Now let me show you a real life example of how this helped me today and how I was able to make that $5,600 using these exact hot keys today. So we got these set up, right? Your shift A for your you know buy ask is set up, your shift S for your sell bid is set up, you're ready to rock, you're ready to start trading, but you don't know what to do. So I'm gonna show you this. We're gonna go to Disney, right? And I was trading equity on this. Now if you were trading options, you know, you could have you could have had your option chain pulled up on your thinkorswim TD Ameritrade as well, on your active trader. There will be another lesson on that, a full lesson on that as well. But for my sake, I'm gonna go equity. So, see here to the right that I had on the watch list for a Disney 185 bounce for calls. So I was watching this market open, and if you're new to trading, you should always know that the market open is very, very volatile. It's a great place to make a lot of money as we did today, or get smoked. You know, it could have just as easily, with my few thousand shares, it could have hit that, gone down, and I could have lost a grand, two grand, three grand, like that. You know, obviously I, I manage my risk very well, but, if you're not careful, the opening of the market will smoke you. So just be what cautious of that. So we were watching this 185, right? And as you see, we came down, we hit this 185.08 to a T. So I bought in here and within seconds, it ripped back up. Now where do hotkeys come into that? So if I was watching this, uh, you know, this Disney right here, and I tried to go and click buy, I would have to go to Agfair, click here, buy market, click this, and it's too much time. We don't have time to do that for day trading, especially with quick situations like this. So what I did is I had my level two pulled up. So we'll see here, had this on light speed pulled up. 
I saw we came down, our bids and asks were both on this 185 level. I clicked boom, shift A, I was in, right? Just like that in a matter of a split second, I was in. I was able to do that, you know, see that. I was able to tell the team on voice, like, hey, I'm taking this trade. I'm taking this trade. You know, those who listened to those who have this set up more than likely got in, made some good money. But it was nearly impossible to get in if you didn't have this set up. And if you're trading from your phone, forget about it. The first five, ten minutes is so tough to day trade if you don't have resources like this to your advantage. So we came down, we hit this beautiful off the watch list, ripped up, you know, came up almost $3 from that move. And, you know, if you had your hockey set up, if you had your execution, you know, dialed in, you made good money on this trade. Now, again, for a quick recap, I like to have my ask, you know, shift A, buy the ask, and then my sell the bid, shift S. Makes it easier for me and makes it overall, you know, easier for me to navigate, get my executions in, and to trade in and out as I like to do scalping. So... I also want to talk about just for a quick second an overall week recap. You know, it was a slower week. I cleared over 10 grand again. I was very blessed for that. Um, today definitely helped. And uh, but what I wanted to say about that was it wasn't easy, right? August is a tough month. We have lower volume, and what does lower volume mean? False breakouts. So if you've been struggling, you know, if you've been you know tap, getting uh, spooked out a lot, I'm um, getting tricked in your positions. It's okay. What I recommend to do is take your position sizing down. You know, sit back, read, keep a trading journal, and overall, you know, just have patience with this. You know, I've been trading for five years. I didn't really get it down until a few years in. It takes time. You know, it, it takes four years to become a teacher, seven years to become a lawyer. It takes a lot of years to do a lot of big things in life. You're not going to become a professional trader, whether it's swing trading, day trading, investing, overnight. This is not an easy industry. And, uh, you know, the biggest thing you can do as an individual learning is just keep at it and keep your lit risk and your losses to a minimum while you're learning. So again, I hope this video helped. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Let me know what you want to know in the comments. And I look forward to helping you and guiding you through your trading journey and trading with you live in the premium Discord if you so choose to do. So 